Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Avi, and today I'm here with Valerie LaPel Shorty. It's real. And I'm gonna be answering questions that guys are too afraid to ask girls. And if I'm wrong, they're gonna slap me with the tortillas. <laughs> Let's get into it. Why do most guys have to make the first move? Why can't girls do it? Girls are too afraid. <laughs> <laughs> What's the answer to that? It's a social norm. Girls do make the first move, but it's a social norm for guys. I think that's bullshit. My opinion. <laughs> what do cramps feel like? <laughs> what kind of cramps? <laughs> So you know when your calf <laughs> like kind of like tenses up, I'm assuming that's somewhere in their lower area. <laughs> <laughs> no, it feels like you're being stabbed a million times. Oh my god! Absolutely. What? And like Sweet. twisting the knife. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I'm just letting it sit there. How do you win over a girl? <laughs> oh my god! It, it literally depends on the girl. It does depend on the girl. It does. It's because right. like, what are some generic ways? Okay, so you can be the nice guy. Some girls like the nice guy. It's part like it's it comes down. To personality and how you treat them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that was not very reassuring. What do girls mean when they say I'm fine? They're not fine. They are upset. And they may want you to just distance yourself or they want you to give to like press them to make sure that they are not indeed fine and why they're not fine. Yeah? Yeah. Sometimes I'm really just fine though. Like, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. What do the tampons letter mean? There's letters in tampons? Yes. Yeah. It means how big the, no, I'm just kidding. It's the flow, it's the flow. It's how heavy the flow is. You know what's crazy? I didn't even know that. So smack her with the tampons. Yeah. So. <laughs> I don't wear tampons, so. Why do girls go to the bathroom in a group? <laughs> okay, oh, hey, let's calm down. <laughs> I have an answer for this. They just want to go gossip. Yeah. Nice. To talk shit. <laughs> Does it hurt when you get hit in your private parts? I think the lower region, maybe not as much, but I heard that the chestal area may chestal. be- Chestal? <laughs> sorry, che sorry. Y your boobs. A, is, it might... a, is that a yes or a no to the- <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. To both? No. No to the bottom, yes to the top. Oh, fuck. <laughs> really? Yeah. But is it like sensitive? Because like <laughs> for, for a guy, it's like we feel it in our stomach. Yeah, no, it, it hurts in the area that gets kicked. Like it hurts. I mean, okay, that's like if you get punched, like, no, this is not the same for guys. Uh, because, like, we we'll get kicked in our nuts and we feel it, like, in our stomach. Like, well, we're I'm like, feeling that. I'm feeling that for, like, a minute, a solid while afterwards. I've never been hit in that region, but since it's, like, flat, if you were just to, like, I feel like it would sting for a little bit. Definitely not as much as a guy, because, like, there's things that are sticking not out. As much as a guy, but it's still gonna hurt. Sticking out. Yes. Definitely this region. Ow. Oh yeah, fuck, it hurts. Do girls like to be called hot or pretty more? Fuck being called hot. That's like very sexualizing. <laughs> she like me. I, I, <laughs> 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 I agreed with that. <laughs> I don't like being called hot, but like pretty? Like you're looking really pretty today. You're looking like stunning or gorgeous or whatever, but like hot? Sexy. No, 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 absolutely no, not. no, no. Somebody calls me sexy and it's immediately like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think like um, old man. How do you get out of the friend zone? Ah, oh, fuck, man. That's a <laughs> tough one. That's a very open ended one. Like, if you're deep in the friend zone, and there's like the very possible chance that you never leave the friend zone. But it's really like what was going on at the time that you got put into that friend zone. That is my answer. I think the concept of a friend zone is in itself strange because I think you can be friends with somebody for years and then end up in a relationship. I don't know, I think it's different for everyone. Like for me, if I put you in the friend zone, there's no getting out of it years and years later. <laughs> like I'm not interested. Who should pay for the first date? Okay, so listen. My, my opinion and the correct answer are like two different things. The correct answer would be the guy. It's the formality thing. It's like the, the social norm, if you will. Yeah. But, but, you can't slap me. I already gave him my correct answer. <laughs> Unless you disagree with that I answer. I wanna hear the second one, because I feel like I'm gonna agree with it. If, if a girl asks me out, yep. okay, if a girl asks me out, I'll split the bill. I won't have her pay the full thing. I'll split the bill with her though. Like, I... I think whoever asks... That's very whoever asks, rare, though. No. How often I do girls always, ask people I, out? Often. Uh, no. I, I do. Yes. I, I have. I have. Yes. No, like. Actually, asked me out. Yes. In person, not like online. Yes. Actually? I've yes. asked two guys out. I, I think it's whoever asks that person should be the one paying. I always offer to pay for a bill. I've never. I've Even if they ask you out? Even if they. I'll like take out. my card out and then they're like, no. I'm okay, not okay, okay, wait a minute. That's like a beautiful That's polite the, thing. Wait though. a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, oh. Hey, you, you say you always offer to pay for the bill, yeah. but you know for a fact you will get an ick if the man was like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, regardless if you're, so no, regardless if you're asking, it doesn't mean anything because you know you want him to I pay. always, okay, so here's my thing. I always offer, Big if points. he's asked me on the date and I've offered to split and he's like, yeah, chill. 
I'm like, okay. I think it just depends on the girl. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie's trying to get Wait, a tortilla to go, slap on me. Y'all like it when we have our hands on your ass when we're cuddling? I would say they enjoy it more if your hands on their thigh. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? No, continue. I. That's a slap. It's a yes or a no. That's a tough question, man. Fuck. <laughs> Gut instinct, no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Why would that be a no? I, I if don't I'm know. Cuddling you? Man, physical touch is not my first love language. It is my second, but like, grab me. Do girls or guys catch feelings faster? I'm going to say guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think we passed. <laughs> nice. If girls have their boobs out, do other girls stare at them as much as guys? <laughs> what the fuck? Come on, quick. No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. 100%. Do you know, like, even like ass, like I, I don't know how, if you notice, but every time we go out, I'm like, that girl's so thick, and I always tell y'all to look. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, yeah. What? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 110%. Is it a red flag if a guy doesn't get along with his family? Yes. I take that as a red flag as if you're my friend. Mm. If my friend. <laughs> you, you don't That's know a red very flag? situational. What if his family is just a fucking yeah, dickhead? I, I, yes. <laughs> okay, no, no, it was, it was a yes or no question. What? You said yes or no question. No, so, so the thing is, I because it was a yes or no question, I agree with Artie, but... The majority of the time, is it a red flag? If, like, okay. if, the, if their family's realistically just like a... A work of fight, art. <laughs> um, yeah. Then I get it. How many piercings is a guy allowed to have before he's undateable? That is so fucking situational. Holy shit. I'm gonna say a maximum of five. Fuck. I would date a guy with like 40 piercings. I would date a guy with as many piercings as he wants. Is it a red flag if a guy has a girl best friend? No, absolutely not. To an extent, of course, but like, no, for the most part. Who should initiate the first kiss? Societal norms should be the guy. But me personally, I don't really give a shit. Does height matter? That depends on the girl, but yes, mostly no. yes. Yes, I'm gonna go with yes. Yeah. My whole thing with height mattering is because if they are the same height or shorter than me, they're tiny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was literally like. Yes, you are tiny. Yeah, like yeah. like at, uh, like so. My height matters thing is like height doesn't really matter. Five, five, five. How, how often do you find a guy that's your height? Like, Surprisingly. <laughs> really? In Australia? Yeah. They'd be short. How about in the US? Let me go to Australia. I'm I tall. Not been, I've not been hit on. Not once since I've been here. What? Yeah. Do girls care if guys shave down there? Yes. Yes. If I'm down there, I ain't coming back up going. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> Do not like the bush. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for the video. Everyone's channels will be linked down below. And make sure to check out my merch. It is dropping October 29th. That is next Saturday, the day after this video is posted. Until then, be safe, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later. Peace. Peace.